Imagine being the company that has all the potential to lead the AI assistant race and then misses out on it completely. Well, according to an article by Fortune, that's what's happened with Amazon and Alexa AI. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what is going on with Alexa AI. I'm wondering, is it ever gonna happen? Make sure to stay to the end. As I was almost done editing this video, a new article came out that can give us a little bit of hope for the future of Alexa AI. I wanted to make this video because I think articles like this are important so we have some kind of understanding of where these companies are with some of their technology. Like if you're getting ready to invest more into the Echo ecosystem, this may help you in your decision. This article that I read from Fortune Magazine, the title is How Amazon Blew Alexa Shot to Dominate AI, according to more than a dozen employees who worked on it. I did find this to be an interesting article, but I'm a little disappointed by it. I'm rooting for Amazon and Alexa AI. I've been a long time Echo user and believer in this kind of tech. I did recently make a video though on why I got rid of my Amazon Echo shows and a video on Apple intelligence. So I'll put those at the end of this one and a link in the description. But overall, I've been playing with these devices forever, so I would like to see Alexa AI succeed. I think it's great for us as consumers because it helps push that tech along when there's good competition. And in the end, theoretically, we'll win. With AI, maybe we aren't gonna win that race. Maybe we don't want competition in this space. That way we can delay the AI from taking over the world and controlling all of us, at least for a few years. Quick Alexa history, it first came out in 2014, and as of 2024, there are over 500 million Alexa-enabled devices. Alexa started off as a project of Jeff Bezos and is inspired by the Star Trek computer that knows everything and just makes life better. Um, unfortunately, the Echoes and Alexa haven't delivered on that vision. In late 2022, ChatGPT came out and blew everybody away with its conversational abilities. Alexa's good at handling simple tasks like what's the weather or turn on a light or set a timer, but it is not designed for conversation. Where OpenAI's ChatGPT is, a powerful large language model that is designed to take your request and understand the context of your request and be able to give you a conversational text response back. ChatGPT can give you responses based on the large amount of data that it's been fed. While Alexa is built on smaller machine learning models and hard-coded rules, in there. Alexa is designed to receive commands and execute the request. When ChatGPT was announced, Amazon was caught completely off guard. Just like Apple was caught off guard by Alexa when it came out. But since ChatGPT has come out, apparently Amazon has been scrambling. According to employees, the first few months, they could not figure out a vision of what Alexa AI should be. In the Fortune article, according to Amazon employees, there were a series of problems that have put Alexa AI behind to the point that some of these former employees are pessimistic and don't think it will ever come out. The first problem with Alexa AI is how do you take a command and action a bot and convert it into a conversational assistant. That's not how Alexa was designed. During this time trying to figure out how to achieve that, Amazon started pulling employees off of non-Alexa AI related tasks, which explains why over the past couple of years, we really haven't seen that many new Alexa features coming out. That's everybody's over working on the AI side of things. So no new features for you, Echo folks. Deal with it. We got some broken AI to fix. Another problem mentioned by former employees is that the generative AI efforts were put towards Amazon Web Services and Alexa AI was not the priority. So that would get pushed to the side, which makes total sense. Amazon Web Services brings in a ton of money for Amazon. So why not put all your AI stuff there to serve your clients, as opposed to Alexa, which has cost billions to the company. I can't blame 
blame Amazon for prioritizing AWS. Where would you put the money if you were running the company? Amazon finally showcased their Alexa AI in September of 2023. They had a demo with David Limp, who was like in charge of the Alexa Echo department, but has since left. He started off with Let's Chat. And that just opened up the conversation where he could ask about his favorite team. He had a conversational Alexa happening. And it just, it gave people hope that there was an Alexa AI coming in the future. Then we hear nothing about it. Just radio silence. There was an article a few months back about it may be a paid service, but that's about it. There hasn't really been a free preview for people. Apparently the September demo was just that. It was a demo that was really still based on the same old Alexa, a command and execution Alexa, not a conversational assistant like we were expecting. Now the reason Alexa AI hasn't been released is that it hasn't met Amazon's criteria for a safe release. Um, apparently AI can get creative, inappropriate, lazy, can hallucinate. There's all kinds of things go wrong with AI. A major issue that Alexa AI faced is that it could not consistently perform tasks based on conversational requests. Former employees mentioned that it often hallucinated or produced inaccurate results, making it risky to release widely. Now, Amazon's new large language model for Alexa AI is meant to compete with ChatGPT. Now, in order to compete and create a large language model, you need processing power and data. Both Amazon and Apple are behind uh, when it comes to the investment in the hardware that you really need for AI. With Google, ChatGPT, and others working on large language models, it's becoming even harder to get some of these chips. But even when there's enough GPU power, you need data. And that's where Amazon's struggling. All the data they've collected over the years from our request isn't useful for them. All of those requests are short commands, or as Amazon calls them, utterances. They are not complete sentences. They're not conversational. So <laughs> they've collected all of these recordings and they're not useful for anything except targeting ads for us. So since we don't give them conversational data, what Amazon has to do is they have to generate data. They have to create conversations to teach Alexa AI what conversations sound like. ChatGPT is so successful because from the beginning, they focused on conversational responses and dealing with conversational data. It wasn't a command setup. Now, another problem with training Alexa AI is all the different departments that make up Alexa. You have Alexa Home, which controls smart home devices. You have Alexa Music, which controls all the different music commands. And there's these various different Alexa departments that all need the AI to do something. Well, with AI models, after you uh, you feed them a bunch of data, you then fine tune them for specific tasks. Well, when the Alexa Home people fine tune the model for smart home task, they would get better results. But then when the Alexa Music team would come in and they would optimize it, fine tune it for music, they would get worse performance out of the home stuff. This is not uncommon with AI models. It is known as catastrophic forgetting. This is when a model's most recent training starts to affect the performance of tasks that it was trained on earlier. Apparently the more Alexa AI is trying to be fine tuned for all the different departments, the worse it's getting. Training Alexa AI and getting everybody on the same page is proving so difficult that many former employees are pessimistic of if Alexa AI will ever get released. Meanwhile, Apple at their worldwide developer conference announced Apple Intelligence that's going to make Siri smarter. And they announced a partnership with ChatGPT. That's some serious pressure on Amazon. How do they compete with Apple when Apple is focusing on their own AI, but they're also taking advantage of the power of the leader in AI. I was almost done with this video and the future of Alexa AI wasn't looking good. Then a new article from Reuters came out that's titled Amazon Mall's five to $10 price tag for unprofitable Alexa service AI revamp. There've been other reports of Alexa AI being a subscription service. This is the first article to give uh, price points for it. Now, right off the bat, five to $10 is not good. Uh, you should get Alexa AI included and we'll talk about 
about what they're planning in a moment. Now, the good part, according to the article, is there's a push within Amazon to have employees ready with Alexa AI by August. It would then be ready for Amazon September event that they hold every year. Apparently, Amazon CEO Andy Jassy is taking more of a personal interest in Alexa growth. Now, according to this article, during a shareholder meeting, Jassy promised a quoted more intelligent and capable Alexa. Like the Fortune article, this one also mentions that there's some employees that doubt it's going to happen. The article also goes on to say that within Amazon, this is a must win year for Alexa. It needs to start generating money. To help do that, Amazon's talking about replacing classic Alexa that we all know with an AI version and then having different tiers to get additional AI benefits. I think an Alexa AI basic version is a must have. You shouldn't have to pay to get some AI. Now, one idea is that the AI can help you make de shopping decisions about products and give you additional information so that you go and you buy some more stuff on Amazon. That's our Amazon right there. Always trying to get us back to amazon.com to buy something. You want to know what the weather is? Hey, don't forget to stop by and buy some sunscreen. You got an ink stain in your shirt? Don't remove that ink stain. Come buy amazon.com. Buy a new shirt. Get some pants that don't like. Don't you ever change, Amazon. You keep selling. We can never buy too much. I'm bummed out that Amazon had all the resources to be able to dominate in the AI space, but they didn't get the right vision. They were too busy doing it their way, apparently even ignoring uh, some of their recommendations from employees saying they needed to focus on generative AI, uh, but instead they just kept doing what Alexa did. And now, as the article points out, internal struggles and technical challenges have kept Alexa from reaching its full potential. Now this article concludes with this. Amazon Alexa runs the risk of becoming a digital relic with a cautionary tale. That of a potentially game-changing technology that got stuck playing the wrong game. Yeah, Amazon was playing its own game, heading its own direction, and not listening enough to the customers and paying attention to where things were going. It's a reminder that even these huge tech companies can stumble when they don't have a clear vision of what they want this device to do. That's been a problem with the Echoes and Alexa from the beginning. The vision hasn't been clear. What's the end game? What are your thoughts on Alexa AI or ChatGPT or any other AI out there? Are we all doomed? Are we in trouble? Let us know in the comments section. Now, if you made it this far, please consider subscribing and check out future videos. Next, you should check out this video over here so you know why I got rid of my Echo shows. You might want to get rid of yours too. Also, here's Apple Intelligence. This Apple Intelligence is going to make, uh, make things difficult for Amazon and Alexa. So check those videos out. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.